Welcome to Wood Turning 201, The Basic Bowl, Part 2. In the last session, we did this. We shaped the exterior and created a tenon. In this section, we're going to reverse this bowl, mount it into the four jaw chuck, and then I'm going to show you what we call the three part bowl cut, a means of hollowing out the majority of the interior of this blank. We'll finish off by using the bowl scraper. Uh, to clean up the final cut. What we're going to do also is simply focus on two tools. We've got the 3 8 bowl gouge, which we used last time. It's our standard tool for all bowl work. And towards the end of the shaping process, I will use a bowl scraper. There's many different sizes, all of which will work. I've got a fairly large one here just to make it easier for you to be able to see. Another accessory that's going to help us be, is as we begin to turn this down to a uniform wall thickness, it's useful to have a set of calipers for the purpose of being able to measure wall thickness. Over time, you'll develop a sense of touch with your fingers to be able to do a lot of that. But I'm going to show you two different caliper types that we'll use to actually measure the thickness of the wall as we go. And we're going to take it down in steps, basic hollowing out, and then reducing to the final dimension in steps. I'm tightening both holes as long as I can move the wrench, I keep tightening. Thing I'm going to do 45 down, 45 rotated. I'm just going to face this off. Part bowl cut. Down, around, cross. And the wrist here pronated, down, thumb is behind the stop. Looks like this. like the two rest should be a little higher. I'll create a groove. Rotate it around.
walking the outside straight and trying to follow it. <coughs> Moving the true rest inside, sharpens the distance, makes it stable, more stable. uniform. And now we're going to come down in steps. I'm going to go down about that far to that thickness and then do it again and then do it again. I don't like the edge. I'm going to just break the corner so I don't cut myself. And now I'm going to go down another. towards the bottom, just a little bit. finishing off the bowl is to use a bowl scraper. 
Typically, the scraper is pushed into the bowl with the handle elevated slightly. And from the center outward is the way the cut's done. To get that handle high, put it up on top of your arm. And when I do that, it looks like it's a little bit below center, so I need to raise my tool rest a bit. Very light cuts. Looks pretty good, but I could benefit from sharpening this. And there are two ways to sharpen a scraper. One is to go to the grinder, match this angle, ours are 15 degrees, and just cut. The other thing is to use what's called a scraper burnisher. They look a lot like this, and they're simply a way of raising the burr on the end of the scraper. Let me show you how it works. One of the things we can do is to actually raise the burr on the edge of the scraper. If I'm dealing with softer woods, that burr is my cutting element. If it's harder woods, generally the burr breaks off in the first cut and we're really using the edge. But for me to get this sharp and a burr raised, the very first thing I'm going to do is take my card to the face of this. And what I'm doing is making sure that there's any remnant of a burr and that's going to take it off. Uh, I can see a little shiny area right around the edge and what I've done is removed that burr. Now high-speed steel I can push up a new burr on this very easily. I could use the handle of a screwdriver. I could use any other hardened rod that would work but Veritas makes a device specifically for this purpose. I've mounted Veritas shaper sharpening device on a block of wood. It consists of a pin and a carbide point. And I'm going to put it in the vise I have here on this bench as a way of holding it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the tool against the pin and push it up against this carbide post. And what that's going to do is push a burr back up again. Believe it or not, I could do this with the blade of a screwdriver, but it's not convenient. Just like that, two strokes. I can feel the burr on this tool. You can't see it, but it's there. Okay, I thought that might help you and better understand how the scraper burners should work. We've now raised a new burr on the edge here, and I'm going to make one last cut, but from the base all the way up, very slowly and very gently to take off any internal uh, marks or irregularities. Very slow cut. This is what we need to practice in the second section of basic bowls. Most of the work is done with the bowl gouge, doing the three-part bowl cut. We'll see you in the next video.